Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who in the abundance of your kindness, surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Set out for the great city of Nineveh and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city and it took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk announcing, Forty days more and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believed God, they proclaimed a fast and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclaimed throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles. Neither man nor beasts, neither cattle nor sheep shall taste anything, 
They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn from his evil way and from the violence he has in hand. Who knows, God may relent and forgive and withhold his blazing wrath so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice and supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Let Israel wait for the Lord, for with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listen, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today's readings would like to lead us to this beautiful reality and effects of listening. We have heard how the people of Nineveh listened to the preaching of Jonah and how in our gospel, Mary, the sister of Martha, was described by St. Luke as someone listening to the Lord while He was speaking then. Mga kapatid, hindi lang po tayo nakikinig para duminig o umintindi o dumag magkaroon ng dagdag na impormasyon sa mga bagay na ating napapakinggan. We listen not only to gain, but to listen is to humble ourselves to 
unfolding plans, desires, and goodness from everywhere and eventually to God and from God. Malaki po kasi ang tukso na sa bawat enkwentro sa Diyos, ang sabihin po natin ay, alam ko na yan, hindi ko na kailangan sundin iyan. Long before I knew all the things. Ayan ang tukso ng hindi pakikinig. That is its danger to think and even act like we are not capable of receiving and even knowing things most especially from God. But when we listen, we humble ourselves to what is beautiful, to what will make us blessed, and to experiences of goodness. To listen is to let ourselves say, I have nothing to boast. I do not know all things. I really need to learn and stay at the foot of Jesus. Listening people are welcoming people. They welcome not only presence, but also stories and plans that would make their hearts well and happy. The people of Nineveh listened to Jonah and welcomed God's gift of pardon and forgiveness. Mary listened to Jesus and she welcomed graciously God's word in her heart. Ang nakikinig na tao, sinasabi sa kanyang sarili, hindi ko alam ang lahat ng bagay and I am called to learn and welcome both good news and goodness for me. Because the moment we stop listening, the moment when we get out from the foot of the Master, we might also stop welcoming God's plan for us. The people of Nineveh and Mary are examples of such. To listen is not only a noble action or response, but is, but is always an act of humility and of welcome. That whenever we would listen, we bow our heads and our hearts to what is God's plan and goodness for us. When we listen attentively, we take away our pride and from there, let stories and goodness begin to unfold for us. My dear friends, when all of us are asked to listen, to listen to a friend, to listen to a colleague, to listen to a relative, to someone close to you, listen not only because it is a duty or a sign of respect, but listen in humility and listen as a sign of welcome and begin to see God's plans and goodness unfolding for all of us. Please stand. As Martha and Mary discovered the kindness and love of God is revealed in Jesus in our midst, let us pray to the God who is here, the God who listens. For every intention, let us say, Lord, visit us. Lord, Lord listen, us. visit us. That the church all over the world may offer a welcoming home to our least brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord visit, visit us. us. That those who are preoccupied with the fleeting distractions of life 
may come to appreciate the value of listening more attentively to God's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord visit, visit us. us, that like Mary, we may choose the better part and welcome Jesus into our hearts and lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord visit, visit us, that the sick and the dying may look to Christ in their sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord visit, visit us, that the dead may dwell in the Lord's house forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord visit, visit us. In the silence of our hearts, let us lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass, as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. We lift up to the Lord our prayers for one another and for our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord, Lord visit, visit us. God, our Father, you have sent your Son, Jesus, to show us the way to eternal life. May we always welcome him into our lives and have a place for him in our hearts. We make our prayer through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, the Holy Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so us to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all of the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 